Hi, I'm Chef Melissa King, and um, today we're gonna extract lobster meat. And so what we have here today is a live Maine lobster. And um, you know, for me as a chef, I think it's really important that you know your ingredients are fresh. And so for something to be alive, um, you know, that's the best you can get. And um, I think it's just really important for the quality as well. So you want to make sure you're sourcing from somewhere that you trust. So for today, the first step with extracting the lobster meat is we're gonna have to kill the lobster. And to humanely do this, we're gonna take the chef knife and the tip of it, we're gonna just insert it right into the top of the head and make it quick. And so here I have a pot of boiling water and the whole lobster is gonna go right in for two minutes. Just make sure it's all the way in there. So it's been about two minutes now. Be really careful with your tongues. And just drain off that hot water. Put it onto your sheet tray. And so next, what we're gonna do is just remove the tail from the head. And we're gonna put the whole head, the knuckles and the claws back into the water. And that's gonna cook for another four to five minutes. In the meantime, you can take your tail, and um, the best way to extract the meat, I think that's easiest, is to open up the shell and just cut along this inside here. And just carefully cut down the spine. What I do is I just pull it outwards. And the meat should just pop right out. Here you have a whole tail, but there's a lot of just stuff in here that needs to be removed. And um, it's nice to have tweezers to help you do that. And so there's a big vein in here that, that's really important to remove because it just doesn't taste well. And it's useful to use a little paring knife and just make an incision at the back end of the tail. And you can remove the rest of that vein. And now, this meat, we gotta shock it in some ice water. So it's been about four to five minutes now. So just remove it carefully from the pot. And again, it's really hot, so be careful. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is just remove the arms. And what you do is just a simple little twist. And because it's cooked, they come off really easy. And so just remove the arms. And so here is the knuckle meat, and then this is the claw. And so there's a little hinge here, and that's where you wanna just sort of bend it the opposite direction and just pull them apart. So there's gonna be this little fin inside of the claw, and um, the easiest way to extract that is to take the little baby claw hand here and just turn it and give it a little twist. And if it's cooked right, this little fin will just pop right out. If it doesn't come out, then you didn't cook it long enough, and next time, cook it an additional minute, and you should be there. What you're gonna do is take your scissors and cut just along the shell. So you're really gonna just open up the claw. You're gonna turn it around, do the same thing on the other side. Peel the claw right open, like so. It should just pop right out. Now for the claws, um, you know, you have the knuckles, and a lot of people, you know, they'll throw these away. But there's just such good meat in here, and you can put it on your salads. You can make a lobster roll out of it. Um, I use it for soup garnishes. I think it's just a really good way to utilize the whole lobster. And so same thing, just cutting along the edge and you can just peel that right open to extract the lobster meat. And what we're gonna do is just clean up the meat a little bit. So there's gonna be some white protein that coagulates onto the, the lobster as it cooks. And you just wanna rinse that off. But yeah, these claws and these knuckles, they're cooked all the way and they're ready to go. Um, the tail itself though will need a little more further cooking, but here is the meat, 
And you know, it's really not that hard. And I hope you guys feel confident today that you can do this on your own at home. Again, I'm Melissa King, and I'll see you guys next time. Maybe that's okay. I'm going to try to do this. Okay. Um,